We are here today to see just how far we can go on the amount of volume and clarity that we can get from the stock Harley-Davidson audio system. We are first going to concentrate on the fairing mounted speakers as 80% of what you will hear at high speeds on the highway is going to come from the speakers in front of you, not from speakers mounted behind you. To assist us today are J&M's top two R&D technicians here in Tucson, Jimmy and Keith. We have put up acoustic dampening material against our metal door to help dampen the acoustical vibrations that normally go bouncing and echoing around the shop. We have mounted a decibel meter here in this position above the seat, proximate to the rider. We are first going to install a pair of stock Harley speakers connected direct to the stock Harley HK radio, bypassing the installed J&M amplifier to establish a baseline decibel measurement. We will use track number two from the J&M demo CD for all tests as another standard baseline and perform the test on each set of speakers three times and then document the average of the three readings. Okay, our maximum peak decibel reading for this first test was 107.1 decibels. The peak decibel reading for the second test of the stock Harley speakers is 106.6 decibels. Okay, the peak maximum decibel for the third test is 106.9 decibels. So the average for all three tests is 106.9 decibels for the stock Harley speakers connected with no amplifier to the stock Harley Harman Kardon radio on our street line. Now we are going to install the model number 165-KRC 6-inch focal brand speakers into the fairing and set the front channel gains on the J&M amp for a 4 ohm impedance load. We are also going to direct each tweeter mounted to the center of the focals toward the rider. We are going to set the front channel gains on the J&M amplifier to compensate for the 4 ohm impedance load of the focal speakers. We are also going to direct each tweeter mounted to the center of the focals toward the rider position. Now some of you may be wondering why we are using the focals as part of this test. Well, we run the coast to coast rally circuit each year and we install and service literally hundreds of Harley Bagger audio systems inside our own J&M demo trailer service bays. And from our experience, the focals are about the only other brand speaker currently on the market that is comparable to the J&M Rocker XTs. Okay, now back to track two on the J&M demo disc. These are the focals, base two above center, treble two above center, fader all the way to the front. 
This is the first of three measurements for maximum peak decibel on the Focal speakers. And the reading on our first test is 116.8 decibels. Maximum on the second test is 116.8 decibels. On the third test, the maximum with the focals is 117.0 decibels. So using track number two from the JNM demo CD, volume adjusted to maximum, the average of the three readings for the Focal 165-KRC speakers is 116.9 decibels. Now we are going to install the JNM Rocker XT speakers into the fairing. One of the advantages of the JNM Rocker XT speaker over the Focals is their larger diameter, seven and a quarter inches compared to six inches. The lightweight injection molded polycarbonate cone on the JNM Rocker XT speaker is completely waterproof from the front side. As compared to the open cone design around the tweeter stem used on the Focals. The JNM Rocker XT speaker uses neodymium for its magnet structure to significantly reduce weight while still providing good magnetic flux strength to stabilize the voice coil as compared to the very heavy ferrite magnet used on the Focals. The JNM Rocker XT speaker installation kit also provides additional mounting tabs and hardware to utilize the stock Harley fairing speaker braces for a solid and secure fit inside the Harley fairing. Now we need to also reset the front channel gains on the amplifier from the 4 ohm setting we had for the Focals connected through the amplifier to the 2 ohm impedance setting on the gain controls to compensate for the JNM Rocker XT 2 ohm speakers. Okay, these are the JNM Rocker XT speakers. They're also connected to the front two channels of the JNM amplifier. This is the first test, track number two, maximum volume. The decibel reading on the first test of the JNM Rocker XTs is 120.7 decibels. 120.7 decibels. <laughs> test number two, the peak decibel reading for the JNM Rocker XT speakers, 120.7 decibels. <laughs> peak decibel output on the third test with JNM Rockers. 119.9 decibels for a three test average of 120.4 decibels. Now for reference purposes, for every three dB gain in volume from baseline is a doubling of the volume level that you hear. So the JNM Rocker XT speakers provided a 13 decibel gain in volume over stock Harley that were connected directly to the stock Harley HK radio which is a very significant increase. At the rear of JNM's custom street glide, we have mounted both the JNM Rocker XT 7.25 inch saddlebag subwoofers along with our 7.25 inch Rocker XT full range speakers in the lids, either of which 
can be connected to the rear channels of J&M's 500 watt four channel amplifier to provide the deep bass response to be enjoyed at slower speeds around town and during your favorite tailgate parties. For our actual riding test today, we are going to connect the saddlebag subwoofers to the rear channels of our amplifier and then configure the amplifier adjustments by switching to low frequency mode and adjusting our crossover frequency. Then, we're going to go ahead and fade the radio and bring in our subwoofers on the rear channels. For a true full frequency audio experience on the street glide. Now we are ready for a ride down the interstate at highway speeds to see what we have accomplished. Down the highway at 85. This doesn't get much better than that. J&M's custom street glide will be on display at the IMS Long Beach Show, December 7 through 9, IMS New York, January 18 through 20, IMS Cleveland, Ohio, January 25 through 27, IMS Detroit, Michigan, February 1 through 3, IMS Chicago, February 8 through 10, IMS Indianapolis, February 15 through 17, and at the J&M Audio Trailer at Ross Myers Daytona Harley-Davidson for Daytona Bike Week beginning March 8, 2013.